All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to our Adventure A Day quest calendar from Sundial Games, 2024's Leaf Riders of Renwood. Uh, for those of you who remember, yesterday we made it to Crown Spire. However, there's a long line to get in, and we noticed a sneaky little rat stealing some items from unsuspecting people in line. Uh, we tried to tell him off. However, he scoffed at us, so he so we decided to destroy him and send him to the Shadow Realm. If you want to catch up on yesterday's, remember, there's going to be a link in the top corner. So go ahead and check that out. However, today is Sunday, uh, and that is the daily lottery, or the weekly lottery. So we're always going to participate. This is going to be a D6. So we're going to go ahead and use, for the last time, our blue metal dice. As next week is going to be the white marble. So let's go ahead and get our D6. Three. All right. I'll accept a three. Three is going to be gain one amber. So Quill will end the week at five amber. Thank you all for joining us once again. Uh, we will see you next week. And yeah. Enjoy the weekly recap, and as always, stay safe out there. We are going to be Bill, Mudsong, and Nova. Monday, January 15th, several of the town's children stop you and ask you to perform for them. We'll entertain the kids. So, seven, you can afford to delay your travels and spread joy to children. Perhaps they, perhaps you can spark their interest in magic, which will benefit the world someday. If the kids don't seem impressed with your magic trick, they're paying too much attention to Nova, your pet beetle. Luckily, they aren't teasing or being mean. I'm going to use all three. Three meal rounds. One, two, three. The road from Woodland Springs to Crown Spire is shorter if you take the direct route. Take the safe route along the road and go to Crown Spire quicker. Well, it wouldn't be a new week if we didn't get a natural one. Since you don't expect troublesome journey, take a slower pace and try to enjoy meeting the people you encounter headed to Crown Spire for the Turning Leaf Festival. You must consume five meal rations. If you ever need to consume one or more meal rations and do not have enough, reduce your health by one for each ration you don't have. Goodbye, meal rations. You encounter a tree that fell from a recent storm along the road. It is blocking others from traveling. Lose one virtue, we're gonna bypass the roadblock and continue. Up ahead, a merchant cart is under siege by insects. We have a backpack here. Seven is going to be Stout Seed. Tap into your arcane powers. So 14, oh, 16. The arcane forces that guide and move the world surround you. Power is at your command. Gain a plus two bonus to your attack rolls on the next page. The insects turn their attention towards you. This one has five health destroyed. Enemy number two. So we only take one damage. And now the third one that your health is for, you're obliterated. So if you kill two of the enemies, collect D4 Amber. I'll take two Amber. You approach the Grateful Merchant, who is relieved to have been saved. B1. Help repair the cart. You fix up the cart enough to travel to the city. The merchant is thankful and gives you one combat tonic. Give the merchant some of your supplies. Let's escort the merchant to Crown Spire. How do I roll the same number twice? You accompany her the rest of the way. Gain one virtue. One amber is better than nothing, I guess. Finally arrive at the great city of Crown Spire. While waiting, you notice a suspicious critter stealing things from the others in line. We're going to threaten. <laughs> what are you going to do? Get destroyed, fool. Gain one amber and one warding ointment. As always, stay safe out there. <laughs> 